Hey guys, Kathy here. Uh, we're gonna work on uh, my owl eyeglass holder today. Uh, this uh, this could be painted so many different ways. Uh, you could go with basic color or you know just one tone colors and paint each part. Just because he's so cute, it it'll be it would be real easy. I'm of course gonna try to go with a little bit more detail, a little bit feathers, especially for my video. Uh, this was what it would look like before it's painted. I've got colors, black, white, brown, tan, and another tan, a little golden uh, harvest grain color. And I like to paint the bodies before I do the faces. And my beak, these three pieces will get glued together, but won't get painted. So I'm gonna put them aside. And the three or four brushes that I use, two round, two square. Move them over a little bit and just give me a little bit more work area here. And, uh, all right, so let's see the best way to do this. Um, I'm going to kind of peel him apart. My eyes, my eyebrows, my beak, my face. I won't paint anything under here. Put my little face aside. And my feet, my owl front and back with my leaves, leaves, ha <laughs> ha, they're feathers, or <laughs> wings, is what they are, um, I'm going to go with the, the back of the body first, and, um, this is going to be real simple, because, it, which there's so many different owl colors that you can do, you can pick what works for you, I'm going to do a, a, brown, black, gray, white kind of owl. So I'm just gonna lay down a base color here and I don't even know what the best base color is because he's gonna be so mangled. Let's go with, I think it's some more brown. Let's go with, I um, hope that's the same color brown. It's so, so old. I've got it here. Oh, look, it is not the same color brown. Check that out. All right, well, I'll fix that later. <laughs> but I'm just gonna cover cover him on the back with the base coat. And this is my attempt to cut down on the time on my videos because I found that I seem to take a long time trying to tell exactly what I'm doing and get it the way I, I want it. Trying to think about the video, <laughs> making the video and painting at the same time. And you know, these browns are mixing together. <laughs> That's okay. And it's gonna have some stroke marks just like feathers do. So I'm a big fan of having more of than one color on a brush at a time. Not a big fan of rinsing in between. All right, my base color there. I'm gonna let that dry a minute and put the base on my wings. They're gonna be the same. Uh, I'm gonna go with the, the lighter brown on this though because they're gonna be a little bit lighter than the back, I believe. That's the way I'm gonna make them. So I'm just gonna slap a base coat on here. And I get it all over my fingers. Slap a base coat on here so it can be drying. Here so it can be drying because I don't really want these to mix together um, so much, which it would be okay if that's what you wanted to do. But yeah, get them drying. All right, these always dry. These craft colors, uh, craft paint, acrylic paints really do dry fairly quick. Um, you know what, I'm gonna paint the, and I'm just scraping off some of this brown, and I'm gonna paint the feet. Uh, while I'm waiting on that, and what, since it's got a little bit of darker brown in it, I'm gonna do the back first, because I want the claws to be a little bit lighter. I know they don't look like claws, but I need them to be safe if they were going for kids' glasses. Um, or, you know, even my teenagers somehow can hurt themselves on a <laughs> sharp piece of wood. 
So I'm just going to throw, while well, this is wet actually, I'm just going to throw a little bit of the dark color on. Dark brown, darker brown on the back. And bring it to the front. So I got a glare on it this time, but, um, and that's pretty basic. I'm going to leave that, I think, the way it is. And on the back of my owl, which is going to have, these wings are for the front, but obviously he's going to have wings that you can see from the back too. But I just don't do as much detail stuff, uh, detail work on the back as I do the front because the front is what you see the most. But I'm just scraping some of this off and I'm just trying to do a little bit of dry brushing of that color that I had on the feet over here on the wings just to give a little lighter color okay and then let's go with some this beige kind of color and just put some feathers in there top and just some down on the bottom and I'm gonna get a little bit of white in these wings just because I do want them lighter than oh yeah looky there just a little doo -doo. feather looking things just to swipe 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 <laughs> you'll see I to me it's not difficult and maybe it's just the way I do it but um it's a lot of trial and error and, and putting on there and seeing how it goes here's a trip trick for you um I did notice I have a little bit different wood that I've cut with this time and I noticed that my slots aren't fitting quite as tight as I like them to so I'm going to put some extra paint down here at the slot just to thicken that up a little bit and just blend it up just to make it a little bit bigger so when it slides in and it sits it's going to be snug so it doesn't move back and forth and this one goes together a little different than my other animals obviously because of the way it sits and these are the challenges that I have um, as I design them but let's put a little bit of black in here just to maybe in his head where it's a little bit darker oops that was a lot darker there that's all right maybe it's going to be darker around around the top okay and you can just come in with some darker or you could go back over after it's dry go back over with a different paint and kind of cover it up a little bit no biggie you can paint over paint and bring a little bit down into his body all right and then I'm gonna put some white and I want to mix a little bit so I'm gonna start where the paints a little wet <laughs> just get a tiny bit on and dab 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 it off Okay, 
And I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the tan color. Like I say, he is he is speckled many colors. So he is uh Here, go back over it to make it blend a little bit and bring some of the black down, but he doesn't have to come all the way down. Um, it can be a little bit two different colors there. And let me put a little bit more white on this side. And Maybe a little bit of the brown color. Just around where the the wings meet. A little, just a little blending on there. That's okay. There we go. To bring it so it doesn't, it's not quite so obvious that, that they're separate pieces. What does I need there? Some Maybe some beige. All right, so there's my back, back of my owl. I'll let him dry, work on these wings. And uh, like I said, this is my favorite brush. It's what I use the most. Uh, I have to replace it. The wings on the front are gonna really kind of be like the wings on the back. So I'm gonna toss some of this tan color in here to lighten them up a little bit. And I like to go in the direction of like the feathers on this, how the feathers are going. So I'm just bringing in some of that lighter color. This paint's kind of thin, so it's not showing up that much but that's okay i just kind of want to lighten it a little bit before i start adding in my other feather colors and i'm gonna bring some white in here like i said i didn't rinse anything um i rinse the brush it just kind of if i get too much paint on it I, Wipe it off on my paper towel. But you get some white feathers in here. Ooh, that was a lot. Blot, blot, blot. Okay. But then I'm going to come back. Let's see, get some of these white feathers in here. All the way down. And we'll come back with a little bit of, well, that was a lot of black. Take some of that off. A little bit of black to go on top of the white just to tone it down a little bit. Get some black tones in there. Some black feathers. Again, I got too much. Here we go. All right, now, let's see if this other tan, other tan is a little bit. I'm just get a little tiny bit on the end of the brush. Bring some, this is thicker, so it's gonna show up a little bit better. Um, just to bring this, lighten this wing up a little bit. Them. And the you know the wings don't have to be exactly the same. The feathers are going to lay in different places, and, you know, and you're going to just use the same colors and the same style stroke. And if you get too much, looks like brush strokes. Just come back with another color on top of it. 
Um, bring a little bit more white in here. I dropped my brush off just a little bit so I can try to get some of the feather looking strokes. I wish y'all could talk back to me <laughs> so I can hold conversations. I don't have my daughter was here. She'd be talking. Well, maybe on the video. She might play shy. But, all right. Let's see. Maybe I got too much water on that. <laughs> it's a process, guys. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? It doesn't always work out the way you want it. I just bring some of the darker tones in, you know, the darker brown. There we go. I might better put some beige over here so it's. Oh, that's good. Okay, so those are going to be my wings. Put them up out of the way. My back's dry, so I'm going to flip over, do the front. Um, let's see how much is going to be covered up. This whole top part is going to be covered up. So I don't need any paint up here on the top. So I'm just gonna do down here. Um, we'll just do down here because this is gonna be covered up too. The wings are gonna be covered up. So you don't have to worry about the wings. So you're just gonna be doing the underbelly. Um, everything that falls right in there. And we'll come up to up under the wing so there's nothing showing so you don't see a spot that's missing. And I'm gonna assume that the underbelly of this owl is gonna be a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm gonna mix some of this plain brown right here with some of the beige and see if I can get a color that I like for the, and get gold to work around this center of the owl belly and like I said just, I'm just putting down a base coat and I'm not going to be exact with it because they are feathers and I'll have to come back actually and put the same color back over that underbelly. But I am gonna put paint down here in the slot. It's like I said, it's, it's not as tight fit as I'd like to have right now. So I'm just go around there. The wings actually, they come all the way up, but I'm just gonna throw some paint up there. Okay, and that should be good uh, for the color there. And then this part is gonna, I'm gonna have it lighter. Um, let's go with this. It's like a golden tan. Yeah, and while it's wet, I'm just gonna, which is fine, because it can show like this as the feathers are coming down. Um, just around the edges where it looks like I smeared it, I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. And. go because when that dries I'm going to come back and put some more feather detail in there um, and just plop some white in here I love to sing while I'm working <laughs> I however will not do that while I'm making videos at least I hope I don't that's my plan All right, some of this white in here, like it's coming down, get a little bit closer to the center there. If I can get some little bit of paint on the brush, because it, 
but yes this side is definitely or that side is definitely wider than this side just remember there's there's not gonna be a much of this that uh, that was a lot that shows here and also which I actually like that I'm gonna speckle him a little bit um, and maybe I need to do that on the underbelly let me get some Get some of this white and a little bit of tan and I'm just going to do a, a quick mix of that and um, do some brush and, and a stippled effect he's a little Yeah. Just to make it different, because he's so mingled with his colors. Okay, and I'll we'll come back and do a little bit of some more up here. This part, I really kind of like that. Let that dry a little bit, and I'm going to use a little bit of black in the don't forget the tap tap tap, which I forgot to do, but. Brush, brush, brush. So I don't want it to look like fur either. I want it to look like feathers. So um, I'll come back with some more white. Well, maybe there you go. Maybe around his neck he'll have more of a white color, like a white collar. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this side over here. I'm bring in some of these other colors back in. All right. Okay, I'm okay with that. And I just remember, I don't, I might can show you, oops, see look, when I put this on, and I don't like to check it, I'm missing some color down there on both wings. So I wanna make sure that when I attach the wings, <laughs> then I'm going to have color everywhere. So, um, make sure we get that down there. So it's a little different color. And it doesn't even have to have the whole speckled stuff going on or the wing stuff going on. It just needs to be not wood. Like you missed a spot. Or like I missed a spot. Not you, huh? All right, that's good, that's good. All right, so that's gonna be covered up, covered up. All right, well, now it is time, so we'll just set this aside, this little fella, and work on the face. So, I don't know that I'm even gonna do a base coat on this guy here, or maybe I need to do the same. This, I'm gonna do this as a base coat, because I want his face to be different. And, you know, like I said, I have not cleaned out my brush. There's other colors mixed in there. 
Sometimes they blend, sometimes they they show. But uh, this is just the base coat here. Put this on. So there's something under. You know, make it more dimensional. That's that's the thing. Just make it more dimensional. The more colors and coats and stuff that you have, to a certain extent, it gives it more dimension. So it's not just one flat color, which is okay. Would be great in this instance with this owl, because he would be a cutie with it. And I'm just trying to get little spots that I might might have missed. Okay, we'll let that dry. And I want the his eye where his eyes go. I don't even know what you call it, but this part of his face. I want it to be more of a the red um, golden color. So I'm just going to go from the center and and work out into. Yeah, I seem to be using the. This brush the whole time. <laughs> but you can switch if you like. I see some spots of that, which I see some spots I could come back and get. But I'm going to have, it's going to be real speckled. So I'm going to go back with the other colors. And I can catch that then since I missed it with my base color. Or I can come back. with the base color and get it. But I'm gonna wipe that off. Um, I wanna do a lot of black and white and maybe even black, white, and brown speckle on this little fella. So um, what should I start with? Maybe some brown. I wanna go the darker brown, which is what I had in here to begin with. And, you know, I'm just gonna, and really, I'm gonna do a couple strokes there, but this is more of a speckled look. So I'm gonna do some stippling up here. And um, some more strokes down here at the bottom. But you know, I put that like white collar on them. I'm gonna have a little bit darker up here on his face of the strokes. Okay, and his, of course his beak's gonna go up here too, but I just paint under it just like I was painting the whole thing. That way um, it, it doesn't look like I've missed something <laughs> when I go to put his beak on. And I want these outside feathers to be a little dark. Okay. Bring that in. All right. Um, now let's get some black. Get in there. Black spuckle, and I want it to be um, like around his eyes. So I'm going to start there and then just kind of bring the speckle in to the center. And see, the more you tap it, the less is going to be on the brush. I'll bring it down into here a little bit. So I'm going to get some more on and do this, the other side the same way. So there's gonna be more black. So we get somewhere in here. More black in here around the eyes. And then as I come in, and we'll have less on. A little bit more in there. A little 
bit more black. Come on, there we go. Okay, and you don't really want it too even because there's not much straight lines and even things in nature. Bring it around. Speck will bring it down to the center. And some more up here. Tap, tap, tap. I do a lot of that. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. All right, now I want some Why well, it's still dry, I actually think I'm gonna put some white in here. And tap, tap, I want it to be up in here. There it goes out. Just to get the tiniest amount on the brush. Tap, tap, tap. I don't want it to go too far, but I want it up in there. And I wanna bring it down, maybe on the top side. I want more white up here around his eye. I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. Around his eye like this. All right, and how about maybe around his beak, it's gonna be some gray. Oh, I think I should do here, this would be good. I'll do some white around here just throw oops, some extra feathers in there or some feather feather look in there a little bit just so it comes into it maybe even stipple up a little bit into his into the black so it blends well. And I think I'm gonna do a little black. That's a lot of black, but do a little black just down in here. And these feathers give it some dimension. And I think I want some the, some gray. I don't have to blend it and put in gray out, but just put some black and white together and uh, you know tap 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 <laughs> and that's gonna be what's like coming out from behind his beak you see that's the gray but then you want a little bit of black in there And you're gonna want a little bit of white in there. Or I do. This beak's gonna be up there somewhere. All right, and then his, so those don't look so plain. Um, I want, maybe darken this up a little bit. The reddish color. It'll make it a kind of gray. But tap, tap, tap. I just want to bring this out. His eyeballs are going to go up here too. And it did turn kind of gray, didn't it? Well, that's all right. Come back with a little of the grain color. Just come back over it if you get it too dark, or if you don't like the color. That's the thing, you can just go back over it.
how much room the eyeball is going to take up. So, anyway. All right, it looks really weird because you don't know. You go, and then my eyeballs are going to be up there, and we'll figure out that color in just a minute. Um, all right. Um, oh, you know what? These eyebrow things. I won't. They're gonna come here. I think I'm gonna make them uh, almost, uh, let's see, put some black in here as my base. Whoop, flip, flip. Cause I want them to stand out a little bit more. And you know, I did not rinse out my brush. If you put this on tape, masking tape, it's easier to, <laughs> to hold and paint. I usually remember it when I'm working on it and then by that time I'm just never mind. I just hold it and do it. Okay. That dry a little bit. And I also, you know, while we're doing that, I'm gonna do the beak uh, darker, darker gray with some black that's um, darker than that. So I'm gonna do some black around the edges. And then a lot of people think beaks, all beaks are yellow or orange, but they're not. And I want my owl to have a. I'm just gonna go. That was a lot of black, but dark around the edges. I'm going to bring in some white on the same brush. And just kind of, then again, if it was on tape, it'd be a whole lot easier to work with. Um, just kind of blend it. And I really would like to give it a little dimension lighter on top. Like if the light was reflecting. So just keep putting it on there until it gets the way I want it. Then a little bit black around the, the edges. I'm gonna blend, oops, I'll blend those in here a little bit. And back to that white. There we go. Stand out a little bit. All right, that's how I want the beak. And let's put some, a little bit of the, I was gonna say white, but I think on a little bit of gray in these, bring that up a little bit. So it has cohesiveness, like it looks like it belongs. I didn't quite get enough. All right. Um, let's put a little red. Here the, I call it red, it's not red, it's a grain color. And yep, don't like what I did that. But you know what? We're going to come back get the tips of this. This, because I'm going to just come back with some brush strokes of the gray black and kind of come over it. All right. Um, maybe even, let's see. There we go. That's good. Just kind of, it's a little wet. Brush it. All right, there's my eyebrows. Now, what we got left? Eyeballs. Let's see. They're the same. I guess I can put this little fella together. And I always coat these with a clear coat, and that's when the 
colors that you've done with the acrylic paints, the craft acrylic paints, with putting that clear coat on it really does make the colors pop. Um, here's my eyebrows. You can put them however you want. Then I guess you don't even have to use them at all. All right, I'm done with my square brush. I like to wash my brushes as soon as I'm done with them because they hold so much paint. Um, and if I use it too long, you use the What do you call it? Paint soap. All right, I'll try to get that out and then I dry it. Um, whoops. So eyeballs. I think I got this out because I really want to use. I want it to be a bright yellow, but it's not going to take much. I think that's a little too light. I think I need it to be darker than that, but um, I'm going to go switch to a smaller brush here, obviously, and I want the yellow, which I'll just use the yellow as the base color, and this is the iris color from a little owl. I uh, slap that paint on in that, not the pupil circle, but the iris circle. And I didn't sand these pieces because of the, any of the pieces for the owl, because, and I don't mask anymore, I just sand. So if you mask, you can peel it off. You have a great background to paint on, um, depending on what color you're painting your animals. I didn't feel the need to sand the color off since we were doing browns and blacks and stuff and such an intermingled color. I didn't think it was necessary. Now, while your pupil is still wet, now this is how, since these are bigger, maybe you can see it better than, oops, sorry, fella. I know you're not glued down. Anyway, but maybe you can see it better than the, the tiny little maybe doll guys that I've been doing. The owl eyes probably are a little different, not quite the same, but I want a little bit of red or the grain golden color in there. And these I'm gonna do around the edges. Now with the, um, just to do it so it's a little different, I want the yellow to be a little darker. But if I were doing the animal eyes, I would kind of come in here crossways and put little lines. Or not animals, but the dog guys. Sorry. And here I want, and like I said, this stuff dries quick, so you gotta be a little fast with this if you're doing any blending. All right, there we go. I really want the yellow to stand out. And I'm putting some of this golden color in there because I just think this yellow is just a little, a little too light. Right, so I'm covering it up. That doesn't make much sense, does it? I mean, covering up the painting so you can't see what I'm doing. But I have the tiniest little round brush and I'm just coming in and doing a little little blending around the edges so it's just a little darker around the edges. And you certainly don't have to do that. You can just use the, the yellow and it's gonna stand out on this one. Um, I'm gonna do black pupils, which Obviously I do a lot because there's a lot of black pupils. So I'm gonna just come in here and get inside that circle. Paint the pupil black. And 
It's funny, y'all can't, uh, y'all don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but <laughs> um, Alexa is playing music for me, which I have a tendency to do. Sorry, Alexa, I was not talking to you. Keep playing. <laughs> and um, I think in talking to you on the video, she thinks I'm talking to her. So um, <laughs> around the outside, I don't want it bl as black as the pupil. So I'm going to do a dark brown and mix it with the black. Okay, let's see how this does it. Because I want it dark, but not as dark as the pupil. A little bit more brown in there. Just going around the edge of the iris color. Let's see, more, more black, more brown. I got the light brown, so the dark brown. All right. Sometimes I mix as I go. almost done I tried to do the time-lapse videos with these and it's pretty cool to watch to see you can see how it or what's done but it goes so fast you just you you see it done but you don't know how I did it which is why I decided to try to do some real-time videos to hopefully help somebody and how painting these and I think I'm good with that and I'm just gonna wipe my brush because which we can put them up here oh look how that stands out yes so this little fella this is a placement without glue but these fit right in here so we're gonna glue them on but this is just for show right now there, I want to get, I always, just because it gives it more dimension, I always come in with a white dot to give a reflection in the eye, and it can go just on the pupil, it can go on the pupil in the iris, um, it's just to do, give it some more dimension. And there we go, that is my owl. And I'll spray him clear and his colors will pop out. And he'll be done, and where's his feet? All right, and there's his feet that he'll sit on, and we're done. <laughs>